Let's try to calculate 39.1 minus 0.794. And so pause the video and try this on your own. All right, I'm assuming you've given a go at it. So now let's work through it together. So I'm going to rewrite this as 39.1 minus, I'm going to line up the decimals so that I have the right place values below the right place values, minus, this zero is in the ones place, so I'll put it in the ones place, 0.794. Seven, nine, four. And now we're ready to subtract. Now, how do we subtract four from nothingness here and nine from nothingness here? Well, the same thing as nothing, the same thing as nothing is a zero. And so now we can start to think about how to subtract. Well, we still have the problem. Well, we're trying to subtract four from zero, so we're trying to subtract nine from zero. So what we could do is take this one tenth and try to regroup it into the hundreds place and the thousands place. So let's think about this. If we make this, if we make, actually that's not actually gonna solve our problem. Well, we could do it, but then we're gonna have zero tenths and we're still going to have a problem here. So actually, let me go to the ones place. So let me get rid of a ones. So that's eight ones, which is going to be 10 tenths. So that's going to now, we're gonna have 11 tenths. The 10 tenths from here plus one is 11 tenths. Now let's take one of those tenths so that we have 10 tenths and give it to the hundredths. So that's going to be 10 hundredths. And now let's take one of those hundredths, so now we have nine hundredths, and give it to the thousandths. So that's going to be 10 thousandths. Now we're ready to subtract. So 10, let me do this in yellow. 10 minus four is six. Nine minus nine is zero. 10 minus seven is three. We have our decimal point. Eight minus zero is eight, and then we have three minus nothing is three. So we're done, 38.306.